man. All right. I hate to say it, but I got I gotta edu- I gotta educate y'all, man. Cause I, I love y'all. I love y'all, but some of y'all be tripping, dog. Some of y'all just be tripping. But I love y'all though. Now before I get into this video, 76% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 7,250 subs before the end of the week. Need about 110 people to hit do so. I know we're capable of it. Hit that subscribe button. I also need 100 likes on this video. Make sure you like the video. Do your part, man. I appreciate you. And if you don't, I'm going to ruin your Saturday. Uh, I'm not going to say how, but I'm going to ruin your Saturday. Don't ruin your Saturday. Hit them buttons. Now, number what I got to educate y'all on. And a lot of y'all seem to disagree that The Rock is ruining this WrestleMania build. Now, uh, uh, it's yesterday was obvious. Yesterday was the most obvious point or just the the most blatant thing that The Rock is obviously ruining this stuff. And the reason I say that is because everything is out of whack now. Everything is out of whack now. They When Roman and Cody are on the screen, they got to focus on this tag team. When The Rock is on the screen, he focused on getting himself over. He's focused on seeming like the biggest baby face or the biggest heel, whatever he feels like doing that day. And now he's getting cheered more than anybody in this feud. He's getting uh, the most attention out of anybody in this feud. And he's made it all about himself. And for the people who think that last week's promo where he did the the, the guitar thing, where he did um, the promo on Cody, which was okay. It was good. It was a good heel promo, the second half. But the rock concert, if he's not insulting the city, if he's not getting booed by the crowd – like he did 20 years ago. Like that was the genius of The Rock 20 years ago. He was the coolest guy, but you hate to love him. This Rock, he's showing his goosebumps. He's showing that he cares. He's showing love to the city. He's showing why the city means much so much to him. And then he's he's getting away with all these cool catchphrases and stuff. Like nowadays we live in a world where we live in a wrestling world where the heel is often the biggest baby face. Look at MJF. Look at Swerve Strickland. Look at... uh. Uh, CM Punk when he was a I know that was 10 years ago but that's kind of where it started uh shit who how, like just think about all the heels who were so popular that WWE or AEW had to turn them face LA Knight for example that's the world we live in and I believe The Rock outsmarted everybody he outsmarted everybody if y'all want I could be a heel better than y'all can be y'all and I know that because I have the leeway to be myself. I have the leeway to get away with things that y'all cannot. I can cuss. I can go off script. I can put up a 20-minute promo. I can uh, cuss out your mom if I wanted to. I could bring up your mom if I wanted to. I'm on the board of directors. You can't do these things, but I can. I'm going to take advantage of the leeway that I have. And I understand that it may be coming off as bitching. I understand that it may be coming off as, you know, crying or whatever. I'm a Cody crybaby or whatever. I understand that it may come off as that. And all wrestling fans can never be happy. But it's it just look at it, man. Like, I'm somebody who I would love to be behind the scenes of a wrestling show one day. I would love to be behind the scenes working on wrestling and I want to learn how this stuff works and as I get more and more involved of the psychology and the business and how you build up a face and how you build up a story certain things just stand out to me which is why I critique AEW so much but uh, WWE go get this work as well the Rock is go get this work as well so Rock no matter what city he's in I don't care if he's in Tampa Florida if I don't care if he's in his hometown I don't care if his mom is in a crowd he needs to be playing the heel because he needs people to like the the overall story needs people to want rocky to win not rocky not dwayne johnson as in rocky balboa cody rose they've already said that that's what they're going for it's in philadelphia and they want cody rose to be this underdog people weren't rooting for rocky's uh the the russian guy correct me if i'm wrong i've never seen rocky I'm I'm the biggest CM Punk fan. <laughs> Y'all, I, I'm like CM Punk now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've never seen Rocky. So, like, uh, The Rock and Rome. Rome is doing his part, but The Rock has overshadowed him. He's uh, made uh, Seth look goofy. The only Seth, the only thing Seth got back on The Rock was calling him, uh, saying he has an uh, having a midlife crisis, which is true. This dude coming out here in these weird-ass vests and shit. He looks like he looks goofy. He looks goofy. He looks like his teenage daughter started bringing around her friends and 
Like this, he looks like his teenage daughter started bringing around her friends, and now he's trying to look cool for her friends or something. Like, bro, keep like if The Rock just kept doing what he was doing at the WrestleMania 40 press conference, you know what I'm saying? Coming out in beaters and slacks, and then just throwing his weight around. This would have been perfect, but he overdid it, and I'm not sure if he overdid it because that's all he knows how to do, or he overdid it because he knew that. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to take the spotlight. He knows what he's doing. And it sucks for Cody. It sucks for Roman. It sucks for Seth because this is the big dog now. This is the final boss. This is the tribal chief. That's the American nightmare. That's the architect. That's the uh, the, the revolutionary. The Rome, Rock just took all they fucking, all they Dragon Balls. The Rock just took all they souls like Shen Sung from Mortal Kombat. And y'all let me know if I'm overthinking. Actually, don't, because y'all tripping, bro. Y'all are tripping. I want to know what y'all think in the comments. That's what this channel is for, for us to talk about wrestling and give our opinions on wrestling. But The Rock, I think, ruined this because he refuses to be the full-blown heel. He refuses to put these people over. Name one thing good he said about Cody. Name one good thing he said about Seth. I understand that he's building towards something with Roman, but it hasn't been nuanced enough. Calling himself the final boss, like how how like they haven't even started like jibber jabbing back and forth. I mean, not in person. They just shake it off. Like today, Cody said, um, like Roman I mean the Rock called himself the final boss, and then Ro uh, Roman no sold it. Like he didn't even care. That that segment was so fucking awkward, bro. Like, I know I'm not the only one who thinks that. I know I'm not the only one. It was super awkward. It just fell off. Your, your main event of night one had a, their first face-to-face -face standoff, and that's what that's what they put out there? That's Like, that's what they did? If you weren't so tuned in, you would think it was just Cody versus Rock, bro, at this point. But, yeah, yeah you would think it was Cody versus Rock and Roman versus Seth. And that's a mess. You've overthought it at this point. And I think The Rock inserted himself into this, and it sucks. It sucks. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, as long, again, as long as Cody finishes the story, I could give a fuck about the build. But this is what you're going to get with this channel. Again, I'm somebody who wants to run a wrestling show one day. I'm somebody who pays attention to the little details. I'm somebody who pays attention to the psychology all the like the you know the touring and how they operate as much as i possibly can because i want to run something one day i want to be a part of something one day but yeah, that's what you're going to get with this channel you're going to i'm going to nitpick i'm going to look at little things if you don't like that you know what i'm saying you could go somewhere else where they don't look too deep into stuff but i look deep into stuff i i like i love the little intricate details bray wyatt was my favorite wrestler ever one of my favorite wrestlers ever CM Punk was too CM Punk is too Those are two people who care about the little details So that says what that says what it needs to say right there But y'all let me know This was this is like a let's argue This is I'm gonna call this a let's argue Because I wanna know y'all opinions I wanna know y'all opinions I'm recovering from a little cold So uh, sorry there was no stream But I'm, all, I'm available all day tomorrow I'm gonna react to y'all comments So let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Again, hit that subscribe button. Need 7, 000, I'm trying to hit 7,250. Need 110 more people to hit that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate it. Have a beautiful night. Sub to act. Also, I need 100 likes on this video, man. Do your part. Like the video. Have a beautiful night. Sub to act. Peace.